right, in this video, I'm going to show you where your variables can be found. So for anything you need to graph, you need the variables x and y. It won't let you graph anything that's not x and y. So that kind of goes hand in hand with the calculator and its y equals and graph. Now the order in which you put in equations and functions, um, for short, linear, I don't recall off the top of my head anything else. Um, the order doesn't matter in terms of where the y is. So if I put 2x plus 3, 1, I don't have to put equals y or y equals because it knows it's a function, it's an equation, it's graphing it. But I could. Or I could say y equals first, and it will still graph it. Um, so that was me typing on my laptop keyboard. You could do that on any of your devices. You can also go into your keypad, Desmos keypad, and use this x or this y. and it will give you those variables as well. Um, if you need different variables, or let's say your problem has an M and this can only do X and Y, you could change that on your own. But if you just wanted to type in the equations just to see what it would look like, if you go into ABC, the rest of your letters are here. You can also use these keypad letters for um, some of your other functions like absolute value, um, square root, cube root. So if I type in A, B, S, it'll still change it to absolute value. Or if I change it to S, Q, R, T, still the square root. Or Q, B, R, T, still the cube root. I feel like I mixed those up. The first one was the square root, the second one was the cube root. I may have just been talking too fast. Um, but those are where your variables are.